Good evening, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, beloved family, and to my fellow graduates. Good evening. I am deeply honored and grateful to receive this recognition. I owe this achievement to the support, understanding, and love of the most important people of my life. This speech is all about expressing my gratitude to them. But first, I want to share the story of why I decided to enroll in ICSA. About a year ago, many of my closest friends at work at the same time decided to move abroad for better opportunities and a change of environment. Some ventured to Poland, Croatia, uh, Canada, and the UK, leaving me with a sense of uh, being left behind. So I felt like I needed to do something similar and it reached a point where I considered taking any job just to go abroad and keep up with the trend. But as I kept thinking about the next steps, I, I felt lost, as if I was starting from zero. But one Sunday, August 20, 2023, I, I remember, um, I went to church in Maria seeking guidance from God. After the service, I reflected, would moving to Poland or Croatia truly fill my, the void in my heart, in my heart. So I prayed sincerely, asking for a sign to guide, to guide me towards His plan. As I headed back to Maria Bas Station going home, a foreign man handed me a brochure, ICSA brochure. At that moment, I knew it was part of God's plan. Throughout my working life, my main goal was to provide for my family and help my two sisters to finish their studies. By then, my sisters had already graduated and we were working together to support our family. In that moment, I realized that I had fulfilled my, my purpose and achieved the goal I had to work for. That sign made me realize it was time to do something for myself. That realization led me back to school. At first, I, I felt overwhelmed. Like I was back to square one. Especially in the first month, I was constantly asking questions, feeling clueless. Thankfully, uh, Mom, A Mom Anna and others are there to help me. But I soon discovered I wasn't alone feeling, uh, feeling lost. All of us. But in all seriousness, going back to school wasn't easy. It was much harder than I had imagined. Thankfully, we had the support of Mom Aisha, our instructor, who guided us every step of the way. She mentored, encouraged, even tolerated and spoiled as we needed. And for that, we are profoundly grateful, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ICSA, for truly living up to your motto, your partner in success. Your support has given us hope and the chance to continue moving forward. We are especially grateful for the opportunities you provide to OFWs, empowering us to improve our lives, create positive change, and build a better future for ourselves and for our families. Throughout this journey, my partner has been my unwavering source of strength. Pa, You've always been my greatest yet silent supporter. Just like the wind, unseen but always fed. Pai, you are the wind beneath my wings. And for that, I am forever grateful. 
malayak itu. Tuna dari tatai, ayo grateful for your for your unwavering love and for instilling in me the values of humility and unwavering determination to pursue my passions. Your guidance has shaped me into who I am today, and I cherish every lesson you've taught me. I also want to express my gratitude to my two incredible sisters, my Ate Kalev and Dara. You were my motivation to work hard, and watching you chase your dreams inspired me to pursue my own. Your love and support have meant the world to me. To my other siblings, Kuya Mak and Angelo, thank you for always standing by my side. To Miss Wei, thank you for always cheering me up. And to my nephews, thank you for the joy and laughter you brought into my life, reminding me the brighter side of every challenges. To my friends, especially for the Jason and Tessa, Thank you for walking this journey with me and cheering me on when I needed it most. A special thank you to Madam Bede. Your belief in me and constant encouragement made all the difference. Thank you for always rooting for me. To my employer, as your time, this is my employer. <laughs> But seriously, thank you as your leg group for your unwavering support and understanding, allowing me to pursue my, my studies while working with you. Without your moral support, I wouldn't have been able to complete this journey. Thank you as your leg. Above all, I thank God, His guidance, and grace me the strength to continue when I was weary and the wisdom to, to know this was the right path. His hand has been with me every step of the way, and I owe all glory and honor to Him for making this achievement possible. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, today is proof that no matter how long or difficult the journey, you can achieve your dreams if you remain determined. We are here today because we believe in ourselves, work harder than everyone, and we never give up. Let this day remind us that it's never too late to pursue your passions, or it's never too late to succeed. As we close this chapter and begin a new one, let us carry forward the education, experiences, and values we gain with the world open to us. Let's continue striving for excellence, supporting one another and chasing our dreams with the same passion that brought us here today. As George Bernard Shaw said, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Thank you and congratulations to the class of Earth Community.